So we have a function here, <coughs> f of x is equal to 3 over x minus 4, and we want to subtract it. So first, we find the 0. This function doesn't have a 0, because the top is just a 3. And then we have to find the um, infinity in the bottom. We set the bottom or the denominator equals to 0. So x minus 4 equals 0, or x is equal to 4. So we have a function. I will have graph here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So uh, infinity is equal to 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the um, infinity, infinity line. So let's make a table. Um, f of x, saka x. So when x is equal to um, zero, then this is minus three fourths. X is zero, so it's um, minus three fourths. So right about here. So this is a point. When x is equal to Let's see, 5. When x is equal to 5, then it is 3. So 5, then 1, 2. So it's about right here. 1, 2, 3. So this is for 5. And when x is equal to 6, then it is 3 over 2. So 1 and a half. So it's about right here. And when x is equal to 10, then it's 1 half. So let's extend. So 7, 8, 9, and 10. So 1 half. So the um, graph looks like this. Look like this. Now on this side, when x is equal to a minus 2, so... 3 over a minus 2 on a minus 4 is equal to 3 over 4, 5, 6, so a negative 6, or this is a negative 1 half. So when x is equal to a minus 2, so x and then f of x, when it is minus 2, it is negative 1 half. So when it's a minus 2, there's a minus 2, then it is right there. And when x is equal to a minus 3, so 3 over a minus 3 and a minus 4. So 3 over um, 3, 4, um, then it's a minus 7. So when x is a minus 3, then it is um, 3 over 7, so more, so let's um, find here, when x is equal to a positive 3, let's try a positive 3, when x is a 3 over 3 minus 4, so 3 over 3 minus 4 is a minus 1, so it's negative 3. So 1, 2, 3, and it's a 3. So here, so a 3 and then a minus, minus 3. And so it goes, um, let's see. Uh, goes like that. So this is the um, graph.